Cisco Source allows you to easily and quickly place your orders. To get started to place your order, we are going to click on the new order button. You will notice once you do that, a pop-up window appears. From here, we need to select a few things before we get started with our order. First thing we look at is how we want to place our order. We have a few options. You can choose your history, which shows you products from the last 18 months that you have ordered through Cisco. You can order through a bid or through a custom guide. A custom guide is something that you have created that represents your ordering or, the, or your um, sales associate has created this for you as well. You can also order by a quick ad, which, which would allow you to order by SUPC numbers. You can order by par lists, and you can order by a previous order. For today, we are going to select a custom guide. Once we select the custom guide, we have to go to the next drop down, choose the custom guide we want to order from. You'll see that the next option available to us is our ship date. So for, from here, when we drop down, Cisco Source automatically loads the ship dates that are available to you for the next 30 days. You can also access, access this by looking at your calendar. In the calendar, you will see anything that is in green is a shipping day that you can access. So for us, we're gonna pick Tuesday. You can also separate your invoices. So if you want this particular invoice to be on a separate invoice from something else that you might be having ordered or delivered that day, you can click on the separate invoice feature. And finally, Cisco Source allows you to put in a PO number for your POs if you like to have your accounting done that way. You can enter that PO number by clicking on this box here. Once we have the information selected, we hit the Start Order button. This brings us into our Cisco Order Guide. You will see that we are currently in the list view to switch views, we go up to the top left-hand side of our screen and we can hit switch view. This will bring us into a picture view of the products that we have. You can order by entering your product or the quantities of the product that you want in this bottom little column here. To switch back to our list view, you click on the switch view at the top left-hand of the screen. I'm gonna spend a few minutes just going over how to place an order and what all of this information means. So in our first column, we see our SUPC numbers. These are our item numbers that we use. In the second column, this is our location. This is where the product is stored in the Cisco warehouse. So either cooler, frozen, or dry, depending on where we are. The next column over is our pack and then our size. So how the product is packed to come to you. The next column over is our brand so that you can easily identify the brands that you want. And then we get into our product descriptions. If you will notice that the products are, are in blue and underlined, if you click on those products, it'll bring you into further information about that product. In this area here, we have summary, details, nutritional info, and movement. You'll also notice that we have a picture of the product and the item attributes up in this corner here. If we click on the nutritional info, this will give us the nutritional info for the product, a picture of the product, as well as some further information. So allergies, descriptions, benefits, and serving suggestions are all included in this section. If we go to the summary tab, this gives us a little bit more information about how the product is packed, the brand, and when we expect the orders to come in. If we go to the movement category, this will identify how much of this product you have purchased over the last six weeks and when you purchased it to help you with your buying. As we move on to the next column, you'll see that we have all of our item attributes. And if you hover over top of them, it'll tell you what allergens or what item attributes this product has. So whether it's vegan, vegetarian, nut-free, kosher, halal, and etc. The next couple columns that we want to focus on is where we place our orders. So we will look at the case 
and the each columns next. To start placing your order, you click on a column, enter the quantity that you want, and use the arrows to move down. You will notice that on items that are have the ability to be split into smaller units, you will see an each column here as well. So this column is or this case is packed four. We only want two of those items to come in. So we click the two and move down. And you just keep on moving down and placing your order. Placing your order is as simple as entering in the products that you want and the quantity and then moving down. Once you have placed the order with the correct quantities, next step is to review your order. You'll see this pops us into our first of two screens where we can review our orders. You'll notice some key information that we have is all the items that we have ordered in the top hand side over here. We will take a look at the amount of our order and the amount of cases that's shipping out to us. You'll also notice that there are some items that don't have any quantities in. This is from our critical items list, and this we will cover in a further video. Next, when you hit the review order again, it'll take you into that final stage. Here you have one last chance to either separate the invoice, add a PO number, or change your delivery date. Once you are satisfied with your order, hit submit. Once you hit submit, that order has now been sent to the warehouse and any changes that you do need to be made need to be called in through either your customer service representative or your account executive. If you would like to learn more about any of these features, you can always access our Go Further with Cisco Source section in this guide.